Elvis Stoiko is with us this morning. He's going to be a wise guy in just a few moments. Of course, you know him. He's won three world titles, two Olympic silver medals. He's uh, he's New Market's pride and joy, and we're just so glad to have him here because you're doing something that I think, how many people in life get a chance to do this? First of all, not only the wise guys, Elvis, but uh, the second act. Congratulations on playing Billy Flynn on Broadway and now Toronto in Chicago. Yay! Thank you. Welcome, Elvis. Thank you. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's it's phenomenal. It's a it's a dream come true. I mean, for me, um, I've done stuff in the past, some acting stuff, some stuff on stage, but um, to have this role was pretty exciting. They've they've had different people play. Uh, you know, had um, I think Alan Thick. They've had Usher. They've had Billy Ray Cyrus. They've had. Uh, Billy Zane come out and play because it, it's such an iconic role and uh, they've done it over the years and, and they wanted a figure skater to come out and try to do it and, and through uh, the, one of the producers that has done sk- skating shows in the States it's well Elvis has done stuff in the past why don't you ask him so I did the audition last year they liked what they what they had seen and, and I ended up getting the part wow. did everybody know except for me that you can sink not really. Some people do. And my, my past, my, my dad's a classically trained tenor. So it, it, we had music in our... Is in our, that right? Yeah, yeah. He, well, he sings in the... In the he'd, he'd sung in the uh, Slovenian church for many years. So he was always... There's always music around the house. And uh, he taught me when I was a kid. And I was always in... Uh, my rubber boots and playing the uh, playing the tennis racket and singing when I was a little one and and uh, so for me it's it's always been a, in our family and and um, I was working with a, a lady here a teacher by the name of Denise Daniels for my classical training a number of years ago just to kind of learn how to use the voice on another level and and that actually played itself really well for this uh, for this role and it's been awesome. That is incredible. Now, with a name like Elvis, you almost had to sing or at least swivel your hips, which, of course, we saw a lot of that in figure skating, but but the singing part, too. So uh, were your parents, where did the name come from? Well, um, my parents both came to uh, Canada in the 50s. My mom got out of the uh, Russian invasion. She's from Hungary, mm. and she escaped in 56. My dog, my dad got out of Slovenia, Yugoslavia at the time in 57, mm-hmm. literally escaped and, and came to Canada. Um, back in the 50s, of course, Elvis was huge. And my mom being a dancer, my dad being a singer, both loved Elvis Presley, and I ended up uh, getting the name. It actually helped my career. I mean, at first they would get picked on in really? school and stuff, but sure. then later on, it, you know, it's tough because everyone remembers my name, and I have to really really think about, you know, all the people and the faces that I meet, but uh, it's, it actually became a, a blessing in disguise. Sure. <laughs> now, how scared was it the uh, first time on stage? I mean, uh, actually performing this role. Yeah, it was, I was pretty nervous. Um, on Broadway, when the, the opening night, uh, they prepared Oof. me really well, and I, and I showed up pretty prepared. I mm-hmm. knew all my lines and everything, and they were impressed with that, so uh, I didn't sort of I guess sort of cruise through this. I was very, very focused mm-hmm. and uh, worked very hard with the music director and the stage director and everyone. And uh, the first night, I mean, I come out singing right away. There's no that's like right, warm yeah. up. It's like mm-hmm. boom right there. And that's the way Billy Flynn is. He and and to have that swagger and confidence, I had to be very on that there was no sort of chink in the armor. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it went over flawlessly. Uh, you know, I did the best I I could on that night, and everyone that everyone was really happy with what I had done on the opening night. And from there, I started to ease up and relax a little bit more during the week on Broadway and really sort of and get into the character even more and develop. And it changes every night. Some of the, so it's funny, interesting, because some of the actors, they'll, some of them will be stick with their sort of the way they have their character and others who have been there for a while Uh-oh. they change <laughs> oh, no. sometimes and they'll and but it, but it actually Ooh. makes it great and when you can relax on stage yeah. and you can play off that energy it it you're in the moment so you're actually relating instead of something that's always contrived because we're using the lines but it's the way it's presented so I started to get a feel for that and it's it you start to relax and get into the character and it's been really exciting I've learned so much in in the last little while are there any other figure skaters that you're aware of, other than maybe Sonia Henney, who has go, goes way back to the Dark Ages, who has been able to to sort of parlay a skating career into a musical theater career like this, Elvis? I really don't know. Um, I know that there's always been stuff that skaters have done on television, and they've taken their skating and done shows and so forth. Sure. And, and and partly it is it is acting and it is performance in a way, but. You know, because people ask, you know, how does it feel to be on stage? And I said, well, we we skate on, you know, we're on the largest stage in the world on the ice, but we're not, you know, usually athletes or skaters are very self-conscious of their voice. 
uh, because we're trained so much in the physical body aspect rather than voice. Um, there's a f- number, there's a few of them over the years that I've met that have, have that background, but never really took it further. But, um, you know, I was very lucky that I had a base already and that uh, <laughs> I attacked my fear. You know, we all have those fears and stuff. Sure. But, uh, you know, going after something like this, when this came to me, I, I, I thought, you know what, I should take this on and and yeah, at times I felt a little over, in over my head, but I had to dig deep. And I've done that in the past in skating where I've had to dig deep to find out how to make things work. And it's been, you know, phenomenal. See, that discipline you, you've had as a skater, you can use on stage too. I mean, you really, you said you knew your part. So you can play around on stage a little bit with all the other actors because you know exactly what's going on. And yeah. you're not going to fall. And you're not going to fall. That's the, worst, that's well, the best and, part, and no and matter what happens. And keep running you, you know, back all the, all the reels you see is the time, that one time you fell. I I know. I hate the when they do they that. love doing that. Oh, they yeah, love right? doing that. Why yeah. is that? Uh, <laughs> oh my God. It makes me crazy.